Hey guys, today we're going to draw the mastodon and um, just want to show you the reference picture so you have an idea of what it looks like. I'm going to start with the body. So I'm going to start with the back end and kind of work my way up here and then also do the legs. Um, and then we're going to do the head actually is the last part because we want to make sure that we have enough room to fit the whole body in and then we can put the head in. Okay, so we're going to draw probably a little bit smaller you know, medium to small size because I'm using a, a small um, a sketch pad here. So I'm going to start at the end here uh, for the back side and then we'll again we'll draw the body, we'll draw this area kind of kind of stop right there and then draw the legs um, and then we'll draw the head um, at the end, the, the head and then the trunk will stop kind of there, draw the tusks and then continue the trunk and then we'll add some detail to it as well. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, just to kind of show you what we've done so far is I've kind of drawn from here, so that part here, kind of the top half of the back, um, and then we're going to continue on with the legs. So we're going to continue on with this area here, and then we're going to draw the legs, and then we'll do the head. So that's where we are right now, kind of right there. And let's continue. Oops. Okay. So now we'll curve this. I'm just going to continue here. And then I'm going to bring this down. Okay. It's going to curve in. Okay. So the back side of the leg kind of curves in. And then it dips in and then it comes out. Okay. So this is the back leg. We'll do, we'll do the details on the toes and all that stuff later. So we're going to do about one, two, three, four spaces maybe. Okay, and then we'll draw the other side of the leg and it's going to go up. It's going to follow the same shape and we're going to stop like about there because the belly kind of comes down here. Okay, so we'll come up, it'll curve, and then curve back in like that. Um, and then we can make um, maybe one, two, three, make a little line here. This is the, where the belly starts, and it's going to come down and come to about here. Okay, so we'll just kind of short strokes, kind of bring that down. I want to make sure that it touches this or kind of overlaps this line. So if you do short strokes, you can kind of adjust as you go, and you can always erase the other lines that are inside. Okay, so we're going to curve it. Okay, so about there, okay, we're going to stop. And it has a little tail actually in the back, so right here, we'll just draw, drop a little line coming down. And it kind of points a little bit, and then just bring it back up. Just a small little tail in the back. Okay, just like that. Now, we'll do the other leg, actually we'll do the back leg, there's a leg in the back as well. So what you can do is just kind of one, two, three, okay? And again, just follow the same curve as that leg. And then I'll make another line kind of coming there to kind of show, show the other leg. And then this will kind of widen out a little bit. We'll add the toes and stuff in there later. Okay, now we'll draw the other front leg and there's a little line here actually in its in its fur, so we'll kind of use that as a guide. Kind of go, kind of across, so it kind of stops, you know, where this belly stops, and then we're gonna make the arm. Now it kind of curves, it goes like this, and it curves in, and then back out. His his one leg is kind of let me show you, um, propped up. So it's gonna we're gonna do this curve first, like that, okay, and then we'll curve it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so we'll start here, kind of make a little curve like that. Okay, and then it's going to go in and then come back out. Okay, come back out and then we're going to go back this way like that. And we can close this off. And then there's another like kind of crease here. Just make a light line, like a light little crease. Okay, just like that diagonally down. And then we're gonna make the other side of the the leg here. So one, two, three, 
four, about four spaces. Okay, and then that's gonna come and it's gonna come in a little bit like this. Okay, and then we're gonna follow this line the same way. Coming back out. And then the, the bottom of the foot's gonna curve back in this way. So what you can do is you can make a curve, just a small curve right now. And again, another curve going the same direction as this one. Okay, and then <clears throat> this is gonna be the bottom of the, of the foot. And again, we'll do the details in the foot in a minute. Now this uh, belly or torso area, it kind of curves up now. So I'm gonna follow this line, okay, here. And then I'm gonna take it up, okay? It kind of goes up kind of sharply um, like that. Okay, and to stop right there because this is where the head's gonna be, all right? And then it has another leg um, in the back here, just kind of flat. So we'll take one, one, two, three spaces. It kind of curves in a little bit and then it comes straight down like that. And then it has a pretty thick leg, so it's kind of, I'm gonna follow this along. The head is here, the bottom of the face is here. So I'm just gonna make another line, a pretty thick line. So one, two, three, four, five, maybe five space. One, two, three, four, five, okay. And then we're gonna bring that. It kind of just goes a little bit, kind of curves in a little bit, but, and then we have the bottom of the, of the feet there. So now we kind of have the, the body. Um, I noticed here that when I'm looking at my reference picture that I probably need to bring this up a little bit. It's too, it's too flat. So I'll show you um, here. So see how mine is going and then it doesn't really arc up enough over here. It doesn't arc up enough. So I'm gonna erase that line here. I'm gonna make it arc a little bit more, okay? So let's do that now. Let's fix that now before we forget. So let's erase this, just this top, top line. I'll give you guys a chance to uh, to erase, okay? And then we're gonna keep this, this area is okay. And now this is gonna arc up more. It's gonna be more of a bump, okay? So I'm gonna give, bring it up more, a little bit higher than what I did. And then it can flatten out. Then it can start flattening out right here. But just make sure that this arcs up um, there's also another crease line here, so I'm just going to add a little crease and light line here, and then it kind of it kind of curves kind of down a little bit like that. So now this is where we're going to put um, the top of the head. So we'll kind of bring this out a little bit, and then we can we can just curve this curve this down a little bit. Okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll come back and do the feet. So let's go ahead and just do this. Get the proportions here. So um, the ears like around here. Okay. So just make a curved line this way. And we'll add details in there later. Another curved line coming down a little bit, angling in. So this is this is the ear. It has a smaller ear than your current day elephant does. And then just make one at the end of the other, just make one little line kind of curving like that. And we'll add some more details. So this is where the ear is going to be. Uh, top of the head. Let's see here. Uh, let's put the eye. So there's a little line. So right in the middle of the ear, make a little line kind of coming down, kind of curving down, and then make a curve, like a half circle, another half circle at the bottom. The eye is gonna be here. Um, and then just put another half circle inside of it, okay? And another half circle to make the small inside of the eye. And two little lines on the ends, and you can kind of shade it in. I'll leave a little white space in there to make it kind of look like a reflection but this is where the eye is gonna be. Here's the ear. Now that I'm looking at this, um, the top of the head actually needs to come out a little bit further because I'm curving in too much. I want this to come out a little bit more. So I'm gonna erase just the tip of that line. Okay, and that's why it's always good to draw a little bit lightly at first and then we can darken it. I'm gonna bring this up and over and then I'll curve it here and then we'll slant it, make a slanted line coming down right there, just for the top of the head. Um, and then there's another little line kind of slanting down from the eye. And this is where the tusk is gonna be, the one of the tusks. So now we got this here, we are gonna we can do the bottom of the face here as well. So we'll make a little curve. So let's start like right where the ear ends, right, right there. 
Okay, and then we'll make the bottom of the face. It kind of curves down and then like this. And the, the bottom of the mouth is going to be here, but let's just stop right there for now. Now we can go ahead and we can um, make this make this touch here. And we can we can bring the bring the leg touch the leg there. Um, and then we can make the top of the uh, trunk. So just the top half, we're going to make it kind of curve out and down. So kind of curve out a little bit. Curve out a little bit. And then you can come, you can come down just like that. Okay, so we'll stop it right there because we're going to have, the, we're going to draw the first tusk that comes out like that. Okay, so right where this eye is, it has, um, this is where the first part of the tusk is going to, the first tusk is going to be showing. Um, just make a little line here, and then just make one, two, three, maybe four spaces for the other side. Okay, and then we'll bring it down to about there, and then make a little jagged line, because this has like furry, this part is furry, where the tusk comes out. Um, and then we'll add a little bit of detail here. Let's add another like face line, some detail line. And uh, we'll add some fur lines, but I'm just going to add some some lines on the end to kind of make it look a little bit furry. And then we'll make the tusk. We're just going to come like this. It's going to curve up, and it's going to be pointy. So it's going to come and then curve, and then back in. So let me show you the reference picture. So we're going to draw this part. So we drew this part right now. Now we're going to draw the tusk, OK? And there's another test behind it, so we're going to draw that. And then we'll continue the, the trunk. Okay, through. So let's do that now. So first we'll just kind of bring this kind of curving. Okay. Curving. I'm going to raise this line a little bit here because I want the test to go there. Okay, and we're going to curve it up. Okay. So curve it up, just like that. All right, and then... This point is going to be sharp, so it's going to get, as it goes up, it's going to taper in, meaning it's going to, it's going to get smaller, and touch, okay? So let's go ahead and draw the other part. I'm going to follow the same line, okay? But I'm going to taper this in, so see how it's getting smaller? It's getting sharper, and it's going to touch, just like that. So we got the first tusk. Now there's another tusk behind it. So we can go ahead and right in the middle, make another line kind of coming out, curving up also pointy, okay, and then it tucks behind this one, okay, I'm going to make this a little bit thicker actually, let me fix that, I made it a little bit too pointy, uh, but it still needs to be pointy, but I made it a little bit too sharp, so I still make it a little bit thicker than, than what I did initially, okay, now we got the two um, tusks here, and then the bottom of the mouth, it kind of curves like that, and just comes back up, okay. And then we'll uh, let's finish this tusk now. Now see the tusk here. We're gonna continue. We did this part, so we're gonna continue down. Okay, it's a little bit long. It doesn't touch the ground though, so we have to kind of eyeball it and see. Um, we don't want to make it too short, and we don't want to make it too long. So we're gonna continue um, the trunk here. Kind of curves out a little bit. And I want to say that looks about long enough to me. And then I'll do the other side of the trunk. And it kind of gets a little bit um, narrow as it goes in. And then we'll make like a little C at the bottom with some curves. And that's the trunk. Okay. Um, so we got the tusks. We got the eye. Let's put a little bit of detail in the ear. Just make a little curved line here inside of the ear. Uh, we did this part already. There's another line that kind of curves like that. And another line that it has. Okay. And then it has um, a little dip here in its head. So make a little, like above the eye come up. Make a little line coming this way and up like that. It's like a little, looks like a little dip in the head, and another line kind of on this side, okay, and it, there's some shadow in there, but we'll just go ahead and just make it like this, like a little dip in the head, and a little line coming down here, 
and then the trunk has lines so we'll put some lines kind of just coming like this okay just some light lines you can put and make them a little bit curved lines so it doesn't look like it doesn't look completely straight because it's like a cylinder shape right um, okay so we got that we got that and there's some lines up here also so I'm gonna make it a little bit jagged like a little bit like this like so because it's fuzzy so just like short 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 lines and they're not uniform meaning they're a little bit um, different in size um, so because it looks like it's like fur there um, there's also fur here so I'm just gonna put some lines like that I'm gonna put some lines here small small lines where the tusks is so you can see the fur and there's also some it has like fur everywhere right um, so we're just gonna I'm just gonna put some lines um, on the edges to make it a little bit fuzzy and there's fur everywhere but I'm just gonna go ahead and just where I have lines I'm just gonna put um, little short short lines here where I have any line marks um, so you can kind of see where the where the fuzz is the fur We won't have time to kind of add all the fur and fuzz, but um, just where I have lines, I'm just putting some, so you can kind of kind of get an idea of that. It's a furry animal. Um, it's not a. It's not like your present day smooth elephant. Let me fix this a little bit here. So I'm just putting short, short lines on the outline. <coughs> Um, here in the belly and stuff just along the um, outer part so you can kind of see it's a little bit fuzzy okay and we can go back you can add the fur and all throughout if you look up if you just google this uh, mastodon um, you can see that it is uh, covered in hair. Okay, so I think that's good enough for now. Um, let me add a little bit of fur lines here all along the rest of the um, the legs since I put it on the other legs just to make sure everything is matching. Um, there's also some um, some little uh, U's like a U shapes here on the leg here. Okay, so I think that's looking better now. Um, now we got to finish the feet, and then uh, we should be complete with this guy. Now this one actually I need to kind of connect this line and make it a little bit dark here. Connect this line a little bit. There's another line here. Okay, I'm looking at the reference so. Um, you guys will need to look at a reference also to uh, add more detail to it, but um, I think you can follow along hopefully with what I what I have. Okay, so now let's finish the the feet. Um, just make a round, kind of a round. around foot then we'll add the the nails in there in a minute this picture is like it has grass and stuff um, on the ground so I can't really see the whole foot um, but let's let's just go like this we'll add some half circles one two three four you can add it has one two three four I think four and then here same thing one, two, three, four. And this one, it has some like toe lines here. So I'll just put some some lines in there in between. Okay. And do the same thing here. Half circles. One, two, three, four. With some lines in between. And one. I can only show about three here. 
so because it's kind of tucked behind uh, there. Okay, and um, there we go. Let me make sure the back is high enough because now that I'm looking at it, let's see here, it looks a little bit low. So yeah, I can actually bring this up a little bit in the back. So let's fix that. Bring this up a little bit more. Just like that. And then I'm going to adjust this. And just kind of merge it back into my original line. I think that looks better. I think that I had uh, the back a little bit too low. But that's um, that's what happens when you're just kind of eyeballing it and estimating it. I'm not doing any um, like actual grid, meaning like measuring all the the paper and measuring, um, you know, making like lines, like grid lines, and then um, doing trying to do it exact. So I'm just eyeballing the shape. And but that's why you can um, always use a pencil and you can adjust it. Okay, so hopefully um, you guys were able to follow along. I know this one was a little bit uh, difficult, um, but there you have it. And we'll write that down so we don't forget what this is. A mastodon. M a s t o d o n. And you can add some shading um, and all that fun stuff if you have time. If you want, you can add the landscape. We just don't have time to do that today. Um, so go ahead and just Google uh, Mastodon and then you can find it and you can add some details like I'll just do like an example. You can add some shading because um, there's some some, sh some shading on the tusks. You know, uh, it just makes it kind of look a little bit more real if you add some shading to it. Um, you know, and then there's some shading on the on the face here and I usually use like a q-tip or something just to kind of smooth it out um, I won't do that right now but there's some shadows kind of in here see as you add shadows it kind of gives more depth um, to everything see like the inside of the ear stuff like that so anyway and, and even in here there was some shadow so you can go in and kind of detail it. I would recommend, you know, doing that if you want to uh, really have a realistic looking picture. Um, add some shadows to it, and I think you'll you'll really start liking the way it's uh, it looks uh, with shadow. So anyway, um, thank you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, session. Take care, everybody.